Hello there, y'all all right? Uh, you know, today has been um, a very interesting day, right? So many great things have happened, but also a lot of heartbreaking things. And it really has been heavy on my heart to share this with you, okay? Um, life is like that. It's very quick. And it comes and it goes. And it's a precious thing, right? We are so blessed to be able to live. And if we don't live completely who we are, we miss out on really living life, okay? And I know that personally. And I was reminded of this. I was talking to my daddy earlier today and my sister and just freely talking like we do. And it reminded me of a time where I only spoke freely to my family, right? I only spoke freely to my daddy and my sister and cousins, aunts and you know, my husband, right, and children. Um, and, and sometimes, depending on where we were, I did not speak freely to them, right? Try to be a little proper and, you know, try not to sound country as folk would, used to tell me. Um, trying to fit in, right? Or trying to make people think that I was a little bit, I don't know, better. I don't know what I thought. Um, but also trying to feel like I had to do that to be accepted. But then I found out that meant I was not free. And I was reminded also of a conversation two times that I was having with uh, friends of mine. I remember I, I was working at a job and I don't know if I've shared this with, with anyone on here before, but I used to work at this um, office job that I had in LA. And I was on the phone um, with my girlfriend, uh, Zainab, right? And me and her were having a conversation and my daddy called and I said, oh girl, hold on a second. And I clicked over um, to talk to my daddy. And when I, and I walked outside, right? So I'm talking to my daddy. And when, when, you, when you talk to your home folk, when you talk to your family, honey, you go right into realness, okay? And so I was talking to him and I, clicked back over after I got off to talk to my girlfriend Zaynab and she said hello I realized I was still in my voice my truth talking to, as I was when I was talking to my daddy and she didn't understand she was like Tab I was like oh girl my bad she was like girl you she was like your voice is so girl you are country she was like I was like oh, I was talking to my daddy and it, it just you know and in that moment I realized that not even my friends who I love, like she's one of my best friends, know my true voice because I had created this whole Los Angeles um, persona, right? I had created this person to try to mask uh, the Southern, the country girl that I am because I was told that it was ignorant. I was told it was too country. I was told I had to cover it. Um, I was told it wouldn't fit in and I believed that, right? Same thing happened. And, and Zaynab happens to be from New York. And it's something about, honey, you said New York, okay? But it's something about when you have friends um, or you meet people from different places, sometimes when you ain't free, because this is during the time I wasn't free, you will almost try to sound like them or you will try to uh, sound different than your truth when you ain't free, right? Uh and, and, and the same thing happened. I remember I was talking to one of my friends, Jima, and I was talking to him and the same thing happened. Clicked over to, you know, answer the call and I clicked back over. My voice was, you know, still in the voice of talking to my daddy. And they let you know how many times a day I talk to my daddy or how often I talk to my daddy. But Jima was like, yo, he, he so, he's so Northern. Okay. I think Jima's from like, uh, like, <clears throat> excuse me, Warsaw, Massachusetts. So, and you know, when you're from the South, you're like, that's up North, okay? And the, the Northern accent is so strong. But he was like, man, your voice is like, who, who is this? Like, I, I was thinking, dang, this has been my friend for a while. And you know, just, he don't know my real voice either. 
And those moments started to stick with me. It started to stick with me throughout the years. It would play in the back of my head and I would be like, dang, I'm not free. Why do I do this? Like, why did I create this person? And it became tiring and exhausting. And the unfortunate part is that I had to get sick and get to a very dark place before I realized and chose myself and knew that, you know what, Tab, you are enough. Just as you are, honey. How you tall? You from East North Carolina, girl. Honey, you grew up in Stoneville and Ruffin and Draper and Breezeville. Girl, you are just fine just how you are. You ain't got to try to be proper. You ain't got to try to code switch. You ain't got to try to do none of those things. You can just be you. But I had to get to a dark place before I realized that about myself. I had to get to a place where um, I, I realized that I wasn't free. But it was a very dark place to get to. So I say all this, I'm taking y'all all the way over the river and through the woods to say this. Life is so short. It's so short. People are losing their lives every day. Life is meant to be lived. But if you're not being completely who you are, if you ain't showing up as you every single day, then baby, you ain't living. Honey, you're going to wake up one day and you're going to have let all this time pass you by. It's time to just be you and it's okay. Whoever you are, however you are, wherever you're from, how you speak, how you dress, whatever your size is, how you do your hair, whatever uh, financial status you have, whatever the case may be, it's enough. And you are right. Don't you let your life pass you by trying to live to please other folk. Okay? You are right just as you are. That's it. I hope that, you know, in my state of just looking at the world, you know, um, a lot of sad things are happening right now that are heartbreaking. And it just made me realize that life is just so short. But as my daddy has always told me, we get one life, but if we live it right, once is enough. Okay? Live your life. Be who you are. Be free. Okay? You deserve that. All right? That's it. That's it. I just wanted to share that. Um, I'm praying for every heart today uh, that does not feel well, that feels sad, that feels unseen, that feels uh, judged, that feels like you're not accepted. I'm praying for every heart today that you feel free, that you feel seen, you feel heard, that you feel loved. But most importantly, that you know that you are enough. You are enough just as you are. Okay? All right. That's it. Now, uh, that's it. I'm going to go about my business, honey, and I want you to go about yours. Have yourself the most amazing day. But even if you can't have a good one, don't you dare go messing up nobody else's here. Very good. Uh, Zainab, Jima, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. And thank y'all for calling me out, even though you didn't know that you were calling me out. It's been years and years ago, but I still remember that. I still remember those days that woke up the little girl inside of me who was tapping me, who was saying, let me out. She out now. And she is free to roam about the cabin. <laughs> so that's it. I'll talk to y'all later. Love y'all. Bye.